Are you impotent? Look, it's only on TV that is romantic, and then she discovers he's dying, and then she's like, oh no, you should have. No, it's called the past for a reason. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are a new subscriber, you're very much welcome. Thank you so much for coming on board. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. And if you still haven't yet subscribed to this channel, please go ahead and subscribe and turn on your notification bell so you get notified whenever I put out new videos. So I believe that you should tell your partner about your past. I believe that it's important for them to know about your past relationships, your past sexual encounters, if you had any, and other stuff that I'll be talking about later on in the video, okay? But the first thing I'm going to say is, don't tell them too quickly in the relationship because the truth is that not many people have the privilege of marrying the first person that they go into a relationship with so there's every likelihood that that person may or may not be your future husband or your future wife so it's important that you use discretion when talking to them about your past so i would say don't spill all too early in the relationship Give the relationship time to grow and mature. I feel like you should consider telling them certain things, you know, certain delicate things about your past when you see that there's a certain level of commitment, okay? When maybe you guys are beginning to get serious in the relationship and then talk about engagement and stuff like that. This is because you have not yet had enough time to get to know this person, to know if you can trust them fully. Because the truth is that when you don't end up with some people in marriage, they can use the things that you've told them to hurt you in future. So you don't want to give away that much of yourself to someone who is not going to handle it properly and delicately. Don't keep quiet from a place of fear, but from a place of caution, there's a difference, all right? So now, what should you tell your partner? Tell them everything. Tell them about your past relationships. You know, tell them about any secret children that you may have or any ex-wife somewhere. Tell them about your sexual encounters, but of course not the details. You know, you don't have to go into details just so that it doesn't lead to sin, but you can let them know people that you have been involved with and then tell them about your addictions is there anything that you are struggling with it may be pornography masturbation alcohol whatever it is if you have any addiction this one is very important you know i don't believe that you should hide things like this from your partner why because it has future impact on not just you but also them especially if they end up getting into uh, marriage with you i mean even in the relationship it has impact on them already okay so i don't think that this is something you should hide from them so if you have any addictions please tell your partner tell them about your health challenges are you impotent <laughs> do you or did you by some miracle or some way discover that maybe you have something like low sperm count or whatever it is if you have any health challenge look it's only on tv that is romantic okay and then the guy doesn't maybe tell the lady that he is suffering from one um, terminal illness that could kill him in like a year or something and then he just decides he wants to experience love find love you know without the weight or the banner of this um sickness hanging over their relationship and then the girl gets to fall in love with him and then she discovers he's dying and then she's like oh no you should have no it's only romantic on tv okay i know that i wouldn't want to be in a situation like that let them know your blood group in fact first date question <laughs> what is your blood group <laughs> what's your genotype so we know if we are to take this relationship any further okay so yeah these are the things that you should tell them i saw this um, reality show on series there was this part you know and then the girl was like asking the guy oh what of this person and he was like no it's not your business okay it's you now that's in my life blah 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 and i was like nope if you don't have anything to hide if you're certain that you want a future with this person, what? And the way that he was all, you know, aggressive about it and so vexed about the fact that she was asking him certain questions, I felt like that is a red flag. And guess what? They are broken up now, okay? So if you don't have anything to hide, I think that you should not be afraid to tell your partner certain things that could impact 
your relationship with them. So know that the goal is to relate, not to report, because it's okay for this person who is dating you to have a healthy amount of um, interest or curiosity in you. I mean, if I'm with someone who doesn't really want to know certain things about me, I don't know how comfortable I would be with that, you know. I honestly do not know. So it's not if you are reporting to them and then they're going to punish you or flog you. Okay. And then if it's fear, just know that if you tell someone, if you're scared that, oh, if I tell this person this and this and this and this, then they are going to leave me. Then that's okay. It means that these are, they are, they are not your person. Okay. It means that they cannot handle this. And I also want you to realize that nobody is perfect. And you are not your past. It's called the past for a reason, okay? That is not who you are anymore. The only thing that matters are the decisions that you take. These are the only things that can define or create your future and even your present. So you are not defined by your past, especially if it's a past that is not so good. But the fact that you've repented from it and that you've moved on and you're making better choices now, then you are not defined by it, okay? And then like I said, nobody is perfect. You are not perfect. Even that person is not perfect. Just because you guys may not have gone through similar experiences doesn't mean that they are, they are perfect. I mean, trust me, if if you should end up getting married to them, you would get to know more about yourselves. I know that nobody is perfect, okay? Everyone has made mistakes. Everyone will keep making mistakes. And that is okay. What matters are the decisions that you choose to take today that can impact your tomorrow. Now, why is it important for you to tell your partner your past, okay? Why should you not hide it from them? The first reason why you should talk to your partner about your past is because it builds security and trust. You don't want certain things to pop up in future, especially if you guys end up, you know, getting married. That's have the potential to harm your relationship because you did not tell them about it at least if someone should walk up to you now and say oh do you know that this? if someone tries to gossip for example oh this girl she says she's this but do you know do you understand if they should bring stories to you just for the fact that your partner has already told you these things you will not be surprised you would not be shocked okay because you are aware of it and it builds security in the sense that just by how open and vulnerable that you are with your partner it will help them trust you you know it will help them feel secure in you knowing that okay i'm not in the dark about anything and it will allow them give you that opportunity to just be yourself another reason is that it also gives your partner which is similar to or related to the first point is that it gives your partner the opportunity to stand up for you so let's say certain consequences of things that may have happened before let's say they pop up in future because you've told your partner about these things previously now they are able to stand up for you when these things come up they will be able to hold hands with you and say okay we are in this together we are going to walk through this okay you are not alone that's if they choose to stay so you want to know that there's someone on your side not that it's going to be a shock for them another reason why you should talk to your partner about your past is that it keeps you accountable now if you've told your partner about your past relationships when they see you tomorrow say or when you tell them tomorrow that oh you want to go on a friendly one-on-one -on -one date with your ex they know to tell you that is not a good idea <laughs> you know that is not the best idea it helps them keep you accountable you know it helps them know that okay i don't think it will be best for you to maintain contact with this person that you've um, had sexual um, relation with in the past at least if they see you tomorrow you know talking to somebody that had a crush on you or someone you had a crush on they know that okay that is a red flag that is a warning sign okay you don't want them to be in the dark basically that's what this whole thing is about you don't want your partner to be in the dark okay so you guys can act as accountability partners to each other you know they check your phone and they see your whatsapp message and see you messaging someone who actively you know pursued you for a certain amount of years you know they'll know that okay why are you messaging them but if they don't know you can just even take advantage of their ignorance you know say oh it's just a friend or something Thing like that anything can go on behind their back just because you do not tell them okay so these are some of the reasons why it is important for you to tell your partner your past like i said earlier if they can't handle it then they are not for you okay because the person who is your person will be able to handle the 
aspects of you that are good and the aspect of you that are not so good okay so i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up and if you still haven't subscribed please subscribe and let me know your thoughts in the comment section do you still think that you shouldn't talk to your partner about your past or do you think that oh you should tell them some things don't tell them some things let me know what you think about this topic in the comment section and i look forward to reading your comments because they are encouraging honestly speaking i don't want to feel like i'm just talking at you you know i want to know what your take is on the subject as well thank you so much for joining me today i'll see you in my next video